guys how to make um, twice baked potatoes. Uh, we are also going to make seared ahi tuna with the mushrooms and garlic. And we are also going to make um, oven roasted asparagus with almonds. So what I've done already is um, ahead of time we cooked uh, four baking potatoes. I actually used red potatoes, they're my favorite, but you can also use um, russet potatoes or, or any kind of baked potatoes you want. And um, I had the, the oven still on because we're going to need to put the potatoes back in because they're twice baked. And um, I cooked these for one hour and at 450 degrees and we just took them out a little bit ago. And when you make twice baked potatoes, um, you have to let the potatoes cool for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, some people let it cool for 15 minutes, but um, I think 20, 20 minutes should do it. Okay, I have already um, scooped the potatoes out and I will, uh, out of three out of four of them, so what I will do is I'll give a little demonstration of how you make a twice baked potato and how you go about scooping the potato out. It's very easy. All you do is just take take a knife, sharp knife, and just cut a little little layer off the top. So yeah, not too big. Just just enough so you could scoop the pulp out. Okay. Alright, see just like that. Not too not too big. And then just take a spoon. Uh, like I said, um, there's already potatoes and um, potato pulp in here from the three I've already done. So this is actually really simple, but you have to be careful. So just take a spoon and gently scoop out the pulp. And then, by the way, this recipe is a courtesy of Paula Dean. This is one of my favorite recipes that she makes. Okay, almost done. That's why I did these ahead of time, because they do take a little bit of time. Okay. <clears throat> How's it going there, Sean? It's going good back here. Okay. He's excited because he gets to eat this later. It is, it is very hot in this kitchen, too. <laughs> you doing all right? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. We're doing good back here. Okay. Uh, he's, he's hungry. He's been waiting for me to come home. All right. I think I just have a little bit more. You do want to leave a little bit in here. A little layer. Uh... So I would be excited to hear if all if any of you guys out there decide to try this recipe. I'm anxious to hear how you did. It's not hard. It just requires a little bit of patience. All right, let's see how I'm doing here. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. All right. Looks like we're good to go. Oh, and I almost forgot uh, the little piece that I. Cut off from the top, there is a little bit of potato there. You want to get that too. And there's not that much here, but okay. All right. Okay, now the next part. Got all our pulp in there from four potatoes. We have, we're going to add, this is half a stick of melted butter. I'm going to put that in there. And this is about uh, half a cup of cheddar, shredded sharp cheddar cheese. You can also use mild cheddar. You can use taco flavored, just whatever you want. And this is three tablespoons of mayonnaise. And this is third cup of green onions. And this is a quarter cup of sour cream. Okay, I'm just going to add that all in. Okay. All right, I think 
we got everything and the last thing you need is I like to use the sea salt grinder so a couple twists of salt and a couple twists of black I like to use the black peppercorn grinder tastes better I think a couple twists of that okay so we got all of our ingredients we're gonna just blend them all together until they're really well blended and even. Yeah, this is one of my favorite recipes. I think it's one of yours too, Sean, right? You it like is, when I make this? It is definitely, okay. yes. Oh, yes. You haven't guessed already, Sean is the, is the cameraman. He's upset he couldn't participate. Yes, I'm currently operating three cameras simultaneously. Okay. <laughs> That's one man. You're doing a good job. I hope so. <laughs> Alright, it's coming together nicely. Yeah. It looks really good. And actually, this is a little bit different from Paula Dean's recipe. She doesn't, I don't think she has cheese added to her mixture, but I like cheese. I'm sure a lot of you do too. So, I put some in there. That's okay. I had to take some credit. Alright. I think I did pretty well here. Alright. Okay, we got our four potato shells here. Okay, what we're going to need to do is restuff them. Very easy to do. I'm pressing down on it so I can fit more spilling in it. Look good? Looking good. Looking okay. really good. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I this one reached its limit, so we'll go on to the other three. All right. Also, as a reminder, and Sean, you forgot to do this, is you have to leave the oven on after you take the potatoes out the first time. That's okay. You did well. Yeah, you still leave it at 450 degrees. I think that one looks good, too. All right, number three. We're almost done. All right. This looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Okay, one more. We can't fit it all in back in, that's okay. Just do the best you can. We do have a little bit left in here. We're not done yet because we have some crumbled bacon and we have some shrimp. Just keeps getting better. Okay, um, this is ready bacon. Um, you know, it's the easiest to make. I just took, um, I think it was five strips of bacon, popped it in the microwave, cooked it for a minute so it's extra crispy, and there's what I got. Looks really good. Okay, we're just gonna divide it among the potatoes. Straighten these out a little bit so they don't spill. You guys are going to love these. They are so good. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's about four or five strips is just enough. The shrimp is, um, I used about one cup. It's a generous one cup serving. And um, it's the pre-cooked shrimp. 
So all I did was just throw it on a frying pan, sauteed it for about two to three minutes. Um, I added a little bit of Cajun seasoning and salt on it just to give it a little bit of flavor. Um, if you like it spicier, of course, you can use more Cajun seasoning and more salt if you'd like. And what I'm going to do is just divide the shrimp evenly. If you have extra left over, not a problem if they don't fit. Just eat them on the side. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Looks like I'm gonna have a little bit of extra. Okay. All right, so we stuffed all the potatoes and they're ready to go in the oven. I put all four of them on a baking sheet, but before we put them in the oven again, we're just gonna set those aside and I'm gonna show you guys real quick um, how to make oven roasted asparagus. It's another one of my favorite recipes, very easy to make. Um, all you do is just buy a bundle of asparagus at your local grocery store. And when you're making asparagus, if you haven't made it before, I already did this, uh, make sure, of course, you wash it thoroughly and you snap off the ends. It's about, like about quarter, like half an inch, I think. It's just um, what you need to do. Yeah, they're easily snappable. Just break them off. Make sure they're washed and I put them in the pan and all I did is very simple again is just add um, it was about two tablespoons of olive oil just drizzled over the asparagus and I actually went in um, with my fingers and rubbed um, the olive oil all over the asparagus and just added some salt and pepper that's all you do and when the potatoes go in I'm also going to put the asparagus in and uh, we are going to cook the potatoes and the asparagus for 10 minutes. All right, I think we're ready to go. All right, get my oven mitt. Okay. Needs to be really careful, this pan's kind of heavy because these potatoes are stuffed so much. Alright, put our potatoes on one side and get our asparagus on the other. Okay. I always like to set a timer. Okay, so 10 minutes. Hi, welcome back. Alright, so as a little bit of time went by, we what we did, um, a little recap is we uh, cooked our asparagus and then we cooked our potatoes They turned out really nice They're still really hot. So what we're gonna do is um, we're going to prepare seared ahi tuna Oh, and there's our asparagus. I'll hold that up as well. I just got to find my oven bit The pan's really hot Okay asparagus looks good Okay. And also, in the meantime, um, I went ahead and uh, sautéed some ushroom, ushrooms, mushrooms and garlic. And that's going to be for our ahi tuna. Okay. All right, and over here, what I'm working on right now is our ahi tuna. I'm going to be cooking two fillets. And there are um, many ways to eat hot ahi tuna. Um, a lot of times I like to make it in a stir fry, like put it with rice and vegetables. Um, I also like to eat it on salads. But tonight we're just going to um, pair it with the garlic and the mushrooms. And personally, I like to eat my ahi tuna rare, whereas uh, Sean likes to eat it well done. If it's even slightly pink, he yells at me and makes me put it back on the oh, pan. Well, you, you have a problem with it, and I have to yeah, cook it for I, you. I do like it so much. Like All right. It has. Okay. But I it's like different. mine pretty rare. That's how I get, yeah. if I go out to eat, if I order ahi tuna, I like to get it rare at restaurants as well. Okay. I mean, ahi tuna, it's, it's a nice switch from eating meat all the time or eating chicken. Um, 
Now, I've really learned to really like this. It's definitely a nice change once in a while. All right, so this has been cooking for a few minutes. Um, usually I cook each side about three minutes. Okay, that looks good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, I marinated the ahi tuna with um, a little bit of lemon juice, a couple squirts on each side. I also used a fork to poke some holes so the juices would go through. And just salt and pepper. And just I just let it sit in the pan while I was preparing the potatoes and the asparagus. So the juices and the seasonings have had time to soak in, give it a good flavor. Okay. Yeah, these do not, especially if you prefer it rare, does not take long to cook at all. <clears throat> okay, I think this one will be mine. Actually, I'm going to, this one in the far corner, I'm going to let that cook. This one I'm going to keep my eye on so I don't overcook it. Wait a little bit and then I'm going to transfer it onto a plate and then I'm going to cut into it to see if it's to my liking. Now I'll do the same with Sean's to make sure it's done. <laughs> well done enough. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna, Actually, I'm going to check mine now. So, let's see. I'm going to leave this guy cook here. All right. Okay. Oh, that's the stuff. Right here. What do you think of that, Sean? Not my thing. <laughs> yeah. Give you guys. Me. Yeah. That's mine. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna cook. Yeah, um, pretty much every week we're going to try to make a new video, some type of instructional video, probably cooking. That's one of, besides photography, that's one of my favorite things to do. Unfortunately, I don't always get time to cook every night, but when I do get the time, I try to do it as much as possible. I really, I like sharing ideas and knowledge with people, especially recipes. I'm a big fan of family recipes. My family is full of really good recipes, which I will hopefully share in the near future with all of you. There's some really good ones, especially my grandma's fudge. It's one of my favorites. All right, this guy, this guy is still pink, so he's gonna have to cook for a little while. And um, and also too, when you make seared ahi tuna. You first have the heat on um, to a pretty high setting. So I'm actually, so this doesn't overcook, I'm going to turn the heat down. Maybe about medium. Yeah, you don't want it burned. So I'll let my filet cool down a little bit and I'll continue to cook Sean's. Mm -hmm. He also, I'm, I'm sure you can guess, he likes his steak well done. I like my medium rare. I think you should take a risk and try my tuna. Nah, we'll see about that. Well, you eat sushi. You've eaten sushi. That's they. It's raw. <laughs> you liked it. I guarantee you'll think that tastes better if you would try it. <laughs> And actually, what I'm going to try tonight is um, when I divide everything up, I'm going to, um, you already know I made the mushrooms and the garlic, I'm going to top the ahi tuna with that. And I'm also going to try um, some crumbled gorgonzola cheese, just, just a little bit. I think it'll give it a nice flavor. It's first time ever. I think it's going to be good.
I like trying new things. All right, turn this, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more. Like down a notch. That's good. I'm actually gonna look into this and see where we're at. Don't wanna overcook it, so it's good to check it. Getting there, it's still pink. Right. Also, um, I'm open to if any of you guys out there have something you'd like to see made or something new for me to try, I'm open to that. Any special requests? I will welcome that. How's it going there, Sean? That sounds you having fun? Good. You yeah. hungry? I am very hungry. <laughs> okay. I feel handling all these cameras. It works out. You work up an appetite. I was up to handling four cameras at one point. Now we're back mm -hmm. down to two. So. I'm a one-man production crew. And you do really well at it. Yeah. This is a one-woman cooking show. Ah. I guess if single-handedly I could operate four cameras, I guess that's like a... Is that, a, is that like a record or something? I think it would be. You should look know. it up. I'll, I'll look, I'm, sure, I'm <laughs> sure there's somebody that's done it. All right, I think it's time to check your tuna. You be the judge. Okay. Here's a little bit of. It looks edible. Wait a minute. Let me get a shot of that. This is a, this is actually good. It's not pink like mine, but it has. That looks edible. It, it looks, looks edible. Good. Yes. Thank you. That looks good. <laughs> All right. It looks healthy. I'm sure it's nice and tender. And yeah, see if you, that's why I keep checking it, because if you ever cook it, it loses the tenderness and the flavor. Mm -hmm. Just, just like good steak. All right. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I certainly did for my first Facebook, YouTube cooking show. Um, everything looks good, and I hope you guys have time. You could try this at home. Let me know how it turns out. And um, I will be seeing you next week.